Welcome to talking about computer science. Today, we are going to take a look about how to use Docker to create one server instance for the MySQL. We are going to see how simple it is to instantiate a new server and to connect that using the standard MySQL client. So basically, we are going to download this MySQL image and creating then a container running this image, redirecting ports for the container port points to a um, local operational system port, and then we are going to connect on that using a MySQL client. We are going to, to run this command here that do the following. Actually, just with the single Docker command, we are going to, to perform to have everything done the server instance up and it's available to be connected in in one mysql client so basically here we give one name for the container we are going to sensate here we set up an environment variable then here is the password for the root user in this case as it's a local instance i set root user with the root password and minus g to say it's the patch, so it means we are not going to interact with this container with uh, foreground interaction, just in background interaction. And for this purpose, we are going to connect in one specific port. The default port for my SQL server is 3306, and we are going to redirect that to 3310. It's because I already have this port used in my computer by another MySQL instance. And here is the name of the image that's going to be downloaded. So this name here is the name we are going to, to make this link. So we are going to download this image by setting its name in the end of the, um, the run command. So now let's run that. Just before we could take a look what we have in our Docker, if I type here Docker image, you can see I have no MySQL images, I have images for Mongo, for Ubuntu, but no instance for, for MySQL, so I have not this image downloaded in my computer. And we also could take a look in Docker container ls and take a look, we have no container running. So now we are going just to copy and paste this instruction, this same instruction will be available in the video description for you copy and paste and have your own MySQL server as well. So let's run that here and await the download of the image to be carried out because this command when executed and we don't have the image locally, it downloads that in runtime. So you see it did not found the image and so it's downloading that. Uh, so it's very nice because with this single command here, we have everything done. So it's much easier than come here in the MySQL website, download the installer and have everything um, traditionally installed in your own computer. Here we have that with Docker, which it's very easier to have all, always up to date with the last, latest version and so on. So it's downloading the, um, the image. We have to wait that to happen. So then it is going to create the container. Just more a few seconds while it's it's completed. While we, we wait, I could show you here. I have the MySQL Workbench, the traditional um, MySQL client to connect in MySQL servers. Here I have some old instance, and I'm going to create a new connection here as soon as our container is available. So let me just wait it to be completed. Looks like just this last one. We need to wait to extracting. Okay. Almost there. Right. Now it already has downloaded, creating the container, and it's done. You see, now if we come here and type again docker container ls, we can see here our container is running and it makes the port forwarding and answering in port 3310. So what we are going to do here, now we are going to open our client and create a new connection, clicking here in this plus button. 
we are going to change the standard port for the new one I have changed and give here a name like container my SQL and then just create that. Once it's created, we could click up this block and it already has connected. It has identified there is a MySQL server running in this port and it asks for the password. What password we have to put? The same password we have parameterized here when we ask Docker to create this new container. So here we set the password and now we are inside our server. We could create new schemas. We could take a look in the health of MySQL server and and so on. So we, we can see here it's running and we have here root access. So we could then create new schemas, new tables and so on. So it's that for this video showing to you how to create a MySQL server using Docker and how to connect in that using a MySQL client. Thank you for watching and see you next time.